Hi, this is Chris. Today's sketchcast is about how to build a pier or dock foundation. We're just going to go over the basics, basic components that you need. Uh, we're not going to worry about spans and you know building codes and things like that. But the three basic components that you need for a dock or pier foundation are pilings, the very base foundation, pile caps or beams. Kind of goes by both names. But those are the second part of the foundation, and then the third part right underneath your decking are stringers. And if you've ever built a deck, you dealt with stringers, and it's basically the same concept. So, to begin, we're going to look at this from two angles. We're going to look at it from above first. And here are your pilings and you'll, you'll drive these into the ground or have them driven into the ground might be the easier way to go for you. And you can use round or square ones. It's up to you. Uh, round pilings are usually stronger. They often last longer as well because there's no heartwood exposed like there is in a square timber because it's been cut. Uh, make sure you use properly treated materials, 0.60, if you're using CCA treated materials, use 0 0.60 treated for fresh water and 2.5 treated for salt water because it's a much more harsh environment. So we have our pilings driven into the ground. This is the round circles. Now these boards, these beams, represent the pile caps or the beams. You can call them whichever you want. You'll probably hear both, and there might be other names for them as well, but, but uh, we're going with piling caps or pile caps and beams. So they go on the outside here, and these are pretty beefy. Typically you're going to use 4x8s or maybe 3x8s for smaller ones. Um, you might see a lot of much bigger timbers than that, but 4x8s are really commonly used. Those are your pile caps. Now looking at it from the end, let's just imagine that we're standing on the land looking down, you know, looking out into the water along the length of our of our structure here. Here's your pilings. The pile caps do not go all the way to the top of the pilings because you have to leave room to put your stringers. So sorry about the lines that aren't very straight, but so you leave space for your stringers to go up here. Here's your pile caps. You typically are going to connect them with at least two bolts each. Make sure your hardware is galvanized or stainless to handle being around water. Water is just typically a pretty harsh environment for wood to be in. Make sure you get properly treated wood. Uh, let's go ahead and put a water line here and well the, the mud line is down below, the ground is down below. Next, you put your stringers on and stringers are still pretty beefy so if these are 4 by 8 or maybe three bytes or something like that, then your stringers should still be something along the same lines, maybe three by eights or four by eights or four by sixes or, or something like that. And you, you want to put them probably 16 inches or 24 inches on center. It just depends on what kind of decking you use, how tough you need the structure to be. Again, look at local building codes and things like that. Check with an engineer. Don't ever be afraid to do that. That's just always a good idea. So then, from the top, we have our stringers going across. If you need to meet the ends of two, two stringers, do it over one of these sections where you have your pile caps over, you know, you have your pile caps on, the, on both sides of the pilings. Uh, it'll just give you a stronger connection. It, it, it supports the stringer as much as possible. Again, you know, you can you can separate separate your stringers, you know, different widths, but 24 inches is really common. If you're using composite deck materials on the surface, then you often need to go much closer together, even as much as like 12 inches on center with some of the weaker composites like treks and things like that. Uh, that's my opinion, by the way. The Trex is weaker. I, I can't actually... I don't want anyone calling me from Trex or from a dealer from Trex or something. But, uh, 
Those are the basic components of a dock or pier foundation. Sometimes on a bigger structure underneath, you'll have another beam going this way, one on each side of the pilings. Uh, so you might have one like that and then one on the other side crossing over. And those are connected by a bolt through. And it just it just gives it more stability, mostly you know, stability for going this way and that way. Um, that's it. That's the basics. It, you know, your, your decking's going to go across this way. I think that was pretty obvious, but just to make sure your decking would go this way. If you have any questions, send me a comment. You know, add a comment to this blog, or you can send me an email. I should get it. Best way is really just add a comment here. Thanks. I hope this helps you out. Take care.